Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of the tutorial, we'll learn about testacy. So, what is testacy? So, testacy is a very powerful pattern library and it's built on top of spacey, right? So, it is very useful when you're trying to do pre processing as well as after doing your analysis of your test with the normal stuff like tokenization, part of switch again, and all of this stuff. You want to do some topic modeling or do some other stuff, you can use testacy to do that. So, what are some of the usefulness of testacy? So, testacy can be used to do test pre processing. To clean your test, to normalize your test, it can also be used to do keyword in context, can be used to do topic modeling. If I are trying to find the abstract topics or latent topics inside a document, which is used for test classification, it can also be used for information extraction based on entity uh, named entities and then n-grams, can be used to do uh, statistics of the test, word counts, the basic count of the word, and then several other aspects. So now let's see how to install it. So first of all, to install it, just go with pip install to Stacy, right? And you can also use Conda to also install it. So in case you are having issues installing it on Windows with pip install, you can use Conda to install it. And then you can also download some models, some data sets using this uh, command python -m to Stacy download, then you supply the particular data set. Okay. Then for language detection, you, can, you should install it with pip install to Stacy, then into brackets lang, right? To be able to detect the language. Or you can use this particular function, but in case you are using Conda, it may install it together. Now let's see how to work with it. So I'm just going to import it. So import the Stacy, the Stacy. Let's bring it up. And let's see some of the things we can do with it. Okay, perfect. So first of all, let's see some test preprocessing in this Stacy because that's one of the functions of it. Be able to clean your test before you actually do your analysis. So let's see this test we have. So there's a test about some interesting stuff. So the best programs are the ones when the program program is supposed to be working on something else, right? So these are several stuff inside this particular test. So if I check this my test here, so raw test, I'm going to print all this stuff there for us, right? Which is very interesting. So I want to clean this. You see that there are some punctuations, there are some other stuff. Um, there is a URL here, there is some dollar stuff here, and I want to change it to clean it, right? So how do I do that? So with test test, you can be able to clean them even before analyzing the test. So let's see how to do that. So it's going to be quite simple. It's going to be test test, right? Dot pre process, right? Pre process. Then you do whatever you want to do. So first of all, let's remove all the punctuations and upper cases. So you can do that with with something like this. Remove, right? So we can move accent. You can remove punctuation. So let's remove all the punctuations from it. And then you can first of all go straight away with this without specifying the kind of punctuation that you want. So if I go with this, I'm going to remove all the punctuation so that there is no punctuation anymore. If you check this one here, we had else as dot here, but there is no dot here. Right? We had another dot here, but there is no dot here. So it's going to remove all the punctuations. It can also be specific by specifying the particular kind of particular kind of uh, punctuation that you want to go with mark, right? And then you supply your whatever stuff. So max then you supply whatever thing that you want to remove so so something like this max then you supply whatever thing you want to remove so let's say you want to move this you want to move this so you can supply it but without it that is, can also work with it so there's another method of working with it so let me copy this one and then comment this one out okay, perfect so that is one of the ways of cleaning removing your punctuations from it okay now let's see another type of can only I want to remove this particular URL. There was a URL here, right? So I want to remove this particular URL. Realize that by removing the punctuations, if you remove this one from here, that there is nothing here. But in case I want to remove this particular URL, which is about Twitter, and I can actually do that and then replace it with something. So how do we do that? It's going to be testacy dot preprocess pre process dot replace, right? Replace URL. URLs, then I'm going to specify my test, the raw test, and then after specifying the test, I want to replace it with something. So, what do I want to replace every URL at now? So, I want to replace it with something. So, I want to replace this particular URL that we have here with Twitter or something. So, let's call it as Twitter. So, I want to replace all the URLs that found inside this particular test with Twitter. So, I can do that directly. And then, so I just change this URL which we had here as this is this. Right to this is from Twitter, which is very interesting. So it can be used to do a lot of stuff. You can also move the 
currency symbols if i want to remove all the currency symbols this is dollar i want to remove this dollar from that and replace it with dollar itself or if i have usd i want to remove it i can actually use that so let's see how to do that it's going to be the stacy stacy dot let's go up a little dot create process right dot remove or you can do it's supposed to be placed right place currency so you can do currency symbols can replace emails can replace numbers can replace phone numbers can replace you there are several things you can do with it so let's choose the currency symbol then i'm going to apply my test that i want to supply is which is going to be my raw test a raw test and then i want to replace it with something so what do i want to replace it with? i want to replace my dollar a dollar symbol which we have as this right with usd so it's going to be usd i want to replace it with usd so when i do that so that has replaced the dollar here symbol here right so it's able to detect that that is a symbol and it's able to replace that dollar with usd which is very very interesting so in case i want to replace this usd again instead of dollar to something like euro or something euro or something it's also going to do that so let us change it so that is one interesting thing you can do with this particular package which is very very interesting this allows your pre-processing pre to be quite easier so let's go back to our usd perfect so you can also use to replace emails then in case you want to do all of them together you can also use to replace emails you know between that there are several states can also do so in case you want to do all of them together you can also do it with pre-processing so it's going to be test the stacy dot pre pre-process right so it's going to be pre-process test pre-process test so when you do pre-process pre test right then you can specify your test that you want to clean then you can just go with all of these things that you have done about all these things we have done you can just set it as let's say if i want to remove all my punctuation to no points right then i'll set it as true by default it's false right so then i also want to do let's say i want to remove all my urls and i want to set it as true so that it's going to clean all of these things no you see what emails or whatever so all these things no contractions no assets no emails, no phone numbers, all of these things. In case I want to no currency symbols, I will also set that true. Then let's say I want to lower, like put them all as a lower case. I can also do that lower case. It's equal to true, right? If I run it, it's going to see that it has converted the entire stack. The best programs now it is all of them is in lower case. There's no punctuation, there's no URL. And by default, it's going to replace every symbol with USD. So I just play this one as USD. Was able to identify it, then it was able to replace the URL here, right? Which, which was the one here, which URL. So that is one interesting thing about it. In case it was email, so I replaced it with email. So that is some interesting thing you can do for that. And let's see how to do the same thing for a test. In case you have a test, you want to do that. And also do the same thing. So let's copy this one here that we have. Then let's do it for this, right? In case I want to process an entire test. Let's say I have a test and I want to process it. How do I do that? So it's quite simple. It's going to be like this the same stuff we had here then let's call it as open right then if i open a normal test dot read so let's supply our test there so we have a test which is going to be example so let's call it as example one test then when we run this particular stuff it's going to clean it perfectly for us right moving all the punctuations moving everything so you can do that for a test itself so that's going to clean it move all the punctuations a uh, lower case them normalize it perfectly okay nice now let's see some other stuff you can also do with it so how do we read a test or a document so to read a test in test case, you have two options you can do go with a uh, test dot test case dot doc right and then it's going to convert it into a doc format just like in space it's going to convert it to a doc format so now let's see how to do that so this is a simple test that i have here simple document right so i want to read this particular stuff it's going to be like this so it's going to be my let's call that docs test AC, right let's call it docs, docs, docs test ac2 you know that you're using test ac to do that and then you see how to do that with spacing it's going to be quite simple so test ac dot doc so it's going to create a document and then i'll just apply my test so example this right if you put a, a, a test file there it's not going to work you're supposed to convert the test file to a read file before you need to do that. 
and one of the things that it also requires a language package so in case you don't install the language package they give you an error but if you have the language package it's going to work straight away so perfect so if i check this test here docs test tc so that is going to give me the doc that's telling us a document right the type is a doc and then it's giving us all the tokens which is very interesting so it's going to tokenize the word under 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 the c then count for the number of tokens there inside this particular test which is very interesting so this same thing can be done in case you are using spacey so how do we do that so it's going to be the same thing as so import spacey then create an nlp object you're going to do spacey dot load here right spell the spacey here spacey <laughs> okay. it's going to work perfect now let's clean this one off so now it's perfect, right? So how do we do the same thing with space? So let's call it the same thing as dots spacey, right? To differentiate it from the other one. Then we're going to go with our NLP object and then our test that we had, which was example. Right? So if I run it, it's going to print it perfectly fast, just like the previous one. Dots spacey. Perfect. So the same thing that we had here. So this is the normal way of reading it, right? So if I check with the type of this particular stuff. And just go with this particular stuff here. Type of not type of it is Julia. <laughs> type of this particular stuff docs spacey. It's going to tell us that it says spacey tokens dot doc, right? So if I do the same thing for the one here, if I check for the type of this, so type of type of this particular stuff that we have doc tasty just tasty, right? It's going to tell us that say doc dot doc, right? So both of them are doc files. So that is because tasty is built on top of space. So that is what to be doing behind the scene. Okay, so this thing, this one gives us the tokens. Can have the number of tokens in the particular test, but species will not give you the token, but you can also do the tokenization as we already learned previously by going the normal format of let's say something like this. Create the normal stuff of say token the test or token in tokens for in doc test is right. No, not the stacy but of spacey if i run it so that has listed it perfectly for us i can check for the length of this we had see that 82 just like this one was 82 right so the same thing that it is doing behind the scene okay that is how to read a, a, a document now let's see how to read a test file right a document on a test file right on the file so the first method is to just go with straight away it's Go with this so doc let's call that docs file right then how do we do that you can just use the normal method this stacy dot doc if you supply the test the like something like this let's see example let's say example one right something like this it's going to give you an error right it's going to give you an error because you can't do this particular stuff here so that is is i see that it's working here but if i go with dots file that is seen as one token, right? It's because it's seeing this particular stuff here as a string, right? So it's giving that's why it's giving us as only one token. So if I do it like this, it's going to give us an error so because you can't do that, right? You must open it first before, so it's not defined. So that is one, one interesting thing about this. So, how do you do that? So, the best solution for this is to either open it as this thing, then you Supply your test, so it's going to be our test example test one, then dot read perfect. So, with this, now we can work on it, right? So, now if I run this, it's not going to see that one, it's going to count all of them for us. So this is 633 tokens. So, that is the first method of reading on the test using this. So, you're going to open the file itself and then read it. So, there's another method of also opening a, a document with several tests on it. So, that that is this. Sorry, that is this format. It's going to be let's go to doc file two. Let's go up a little. And then based on the type of document, right? So you can use these ones to do that. You can use the cd.io.read test, right? Or you can if it's a test file, if it's a CSV file, if it's a JSON file, even if it's a URL, you can use this particular format to read them, which is very interesting. So you can just go with the Stacy dot read test 
then you supply whatever test you want to do. So how do you do that? So it's going to be the same format. Example one, right? Perfect. So if I go with this, you can set the lines to be true, or you can just leave it as that. Then it's going to read it for us. So if I go, it's going to create a generator as we said. So I'm supposed to look through it. Right, it's a generator option. So now let's see how to do that. So to read the entire stuff, I just go with for just do the normal stuff. So for let's say my test in my doc file file two, right? Just look through it to read it. Then I want to use a normal normal format to docs. It's going to be let's go as less docs one, right? It's going to be it's going to be you know it's going to be dot doc. Then I'll supply a test looping true. Perfect. So with this format, I can just print this one out. Then I hope it doesn't give us any error. So it may give us an error, but you see that it's it has able to read it, but it gives us an error. It gives us an error, but that is one way. So I prefer to use this method. The first method. Right? This first method and this method. Okay, so that is one of the I prefer to use this method than this method. Okay, that is one of the ways of working with a file, right? Because you want to read multiple tests from a document. Like so there are several that you can also do. You can do it with JSON, CSV, and several other things. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just inside the comment section so that the world can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.